Are you preparing for group policy job interview? We framed group policy interview questions and answers to make it easier for your interview preparation. Question 1. Why should we use group policy? Answer. For deploying software. We can apply security. For controlling users' environment settings per computer settings. To manage desktop environment to standardize environment. To modify the registry. Question 2. What is group policy object? Answer. We call the actual unit that we are creating, deleting, managing, working with is called group policy object. Group policy objects have two components. Group policy container. Group policy template. Question 3. What is group policy container? Answer. It is the container in the active directory where the group policy can be applied. I.e., either organizational unit or domain or site. Question 4. What is group policy template? Answer. When you create a group policy container automatically a template will be created in the hard drive in sysvol folder of the domain controller that is called group policy template. Question 6. How to create a group policy? Answer. Start the programs to administrative tools to active directory users and computers to right click on the container on which you want to apply group policy to select properties to click on group policy. Tab to click on new. Question 7. What are the steps do we have when we are creating group policy? Answer. There are two steps. One is creating group policy and linking to the container. Generally we create the group policy at container only so when you click on new it creates and links the GPO to that container at a time. Suppose if you want to link a group policy object to a container which is already created click on add select the group policy. Question 8. What are the buttons available on group policy tab and properties of a container? Answer. New creates new GPO. Add links a GPO to this container which has created already. Edit edits the existing GPO. Delete deletes the GPO. Options here you get the following check boxes. I no override prevent other GPO from overriding policy set in this one and E disabled this GPO is not applicable to this container properties. Note. When you are deleting a GPO it asks two things. Remove the link from this list. Remove the link and delete the GPO permanently. Question 9. What is no override option in GPO? Answer. Generally the policies set at one level will be overridden in other level, so if don't want to override this policy under the sub-levels of this one you can set this. X. If you set no override at domain level then that GPO will be applied throughout the domain even though you have the same policy differently at OU level. Question 10. What is block inheritance of GPO and where it is? Answer. The block inheritance GPO option blocks the group policies inheriting from the top level and takes effect of this present GPO. Right click on the container to click on group policy go to properties greater than on the bottom of the general tab you will find block inheritance checkbox. X. If you select block inheritance at OU level then no policy from the domain level or site level or local policy will not apply to this OU. Question 11. You have set the no override option at domain level and block inheritance at OU level. Which policy will take effect? Answer. If you have set both then no override wins over the block inheritance. So no override will take effect. Question 12. What are the options that are available when you click on option button on general tab? Answer. General. Disable computer configuration settings. The settings those are set under computer configuration of this GPO will not take effect. Disable user configuration settings. The settings those are set under user configuration of this GPO will not take effect. 
Links displays the containers which have links to this GPO. Security, with security option you can set level of permissions and settings to the individual users and groups. X. If you want to disable this GPO to a particular user on this container, on security tab select that user and select the deny checkbox for apply the group policy. Then the GPO will not take effect to that user even though he is in that container. Question 13. What will you see in the group policy snap in? Answer. You will see two major portions and under those you have sub portions, they are. Computer configuration. Software settings. Software installations. Windows settings. Administrative templates. User configuration. Software settings. Software installations. Windows settings. Administrative templates. Note. Administrative templates are for modifying the registry of Windows 2000 clients. Question 14. What is the hierarchy of group policy? Answer. Local policy. Site policy. Domain policy. OU policy. Sub OU policy, if any are there. Question 15. Who can create site level group policy? Answer. Enterprise admin. Question 16. Who can create domain level group policy? Answer. Domain admin. Question 17. Who can create organizational unit lever group policy? Answer. Domain admin. Question 18. Who can create local group policy? Answer. Local administrator or domain administrator. Question 19. What is the refresh interval for group policy? Answer. Refresh interval for domain controllers is 5 minutes and the refresh interval for all other computers in the network is 45 minutes, this one doubt. Question 20. Why do we need to manage and control desktop environment? Answer. To decrease support time. Eliminate potential for problems. One standard environment to support. Eliminate distractions. To increase productivity. Question 21. What is group policy loopback process? How to set it? Answer. Start to programs to administrative tools to active directory users and computers to right click on the container to click on group policy tab to click on edit to click on computer settings to click on administrative templates to system to group policy to click on user group policy loopback processing mode to click OK to select enable. Question 22. What are the players that are involved in deploying software? Answer. Group policy. Within GP we specify that this software application gets installed to this particular computer or to this particular user. Active Directory. Group policy will be applied somewhere in Active Directory. Microsoft Installer Service. Windows Installer Packages. The type of package that can be used by group policy to deploy applications is .mc packages i.e. Microsoft Installer Packages. Question 23. What is the package that can be used to deploy software through group policy? Answer. Windows Installer Packages .mc files. Question 24. What is Microsoft Installer Service? Answer. Microsoft Installer Service runs on the client machines in the Windows 2000 domain. It installs the minimum amount of an application. As you extend functionality, it installs the remaining part of application. It is responsible for installing software in the client. It is also responsible for modifying, upgrading, applying service packs. Question 25. What is local security policy, domain security policy, and domain controller security policy in the administrative tools? Answer. Local security policy. This is group policy applied to local machine. Domain security policy. 
Group policy applied at domain level. Domain controller security policy. Group policy applied at domain controller level. Question 26. What are the design considerations for group policy? Answer. The following should be considered for designing group policies. Minimize linking. Because there may be a chance deleting the original one with seeing who else are using this GPO. Minimizing linking for simplicity. Minimum number of GPOs. Microsoft suggests that one GPO with 100 settings will process faster than 100 GPOs each with one setting. This is for performance. Delegate. Minimize filtering. To keep simple your environment, try to minimize filtering. If you have more number of GPOs for a container, whatever GPO is on top will be applied first. If you want, you can move GPOs up and down. If there is conflict between two GPOs of same container, the last applied GPO will be effective. I.e., the bottom one will be effective. Question 27. What is group policy in Active Directory? What are group policy objects GPOs? Answer. Group policy objects, other than the local group policy object, are virtual objects. The policy setting information of a GPO is actually stored in two locations. The group policy container and the group policy template. The group policy container is an active directory container that stores GPO properties, including information on version, GPO status, and a list of components that have settings in the GPO. The group policy template is a folder structure within the file system that stores administrative template-based policies, security settings, script files, and information regarding applications that are available for group policy software installation. The group policy template is located in the system volume folder, sysvol, in the policy subfolder for its domain. Question 32. What are administrative templates? Answer. Administrative templates are a feature of group policy, a Microsoft technology for centralized management of machines and users in an active directory environment. Administrative templates facilitate the management of registry-based policy. An ADM file is used to describe both the user interface presented to the group policy administrator and the registry keys that should be updated on the target machines. An ADM file is a text file with a specific syntax which describes both the interface and the registry values which will be changed if the policy is enabled or disabled. ADM files are consumed by the Group Policy Object Editor, gpedit. Windows XP Service Pack 2 shipped with 5 ADM files, system.atom, inetters.atom, wmplayer.atom, conf.atom and wuau.atom. These are merged into a unified namespace in gpedit and presented to the administrator under the administrative templates node for both machine and user policy. Question 33. Can I deploy non-MSI software with GPO? Answer. Create the file in .zap extension. Question 35. A user claims he did not receive a GPO, yet his user and computer accounts are in the right OU, and everyone else there gets the GPO. What will you look for? Answer. Make sure user not be member of loopback policy is in loopback policy it doesn't affect user settings only computer policy will applicable. If he is member of GPO filter GRP or not. You may also want to check the computer's event logs. If you find event ID 1085 then you may want to download the patch to fix this and reboot the computer. Question 39. You want to create a new group policy but do not wish to inherit. Answer. Make sure you check block inheritance among the options when creating the policy. Question 40. How does the group policy, no override and block inheritance work? Answer. Group policies can be applied at multiple levels, sites, domains, organizational units, and multiple GPs for each level. 
Obviously it may be that some policy settings conflict hence the application order of site, domain, organization unit and within each layer you set order for all defined policies. But you may want to force some polices to never be overridden, no override, and you may want some containers to not inherit settings from a parent container, block inheritance. A good definition of each is as follows. No override, this prevents child containers from overriding policies set at higher levels. Block inheritance, stops containers inheriting policies from parent containers. No override takes precedence over block inheritance so if a child container has block inheritance set but on the parent a group policy has no override set then it will get applied. Also the highest no override takes precedence over lower no override set. To block inheritance perform the following. Start the Active Directory Users and Computer Snap and Start Programs, Administrative Tools, Active Directory Users and Computers. Right click on the container you wish to stop inheriting settings from its parent and select. Select the Group Policy tab. Check the Block Policy Inheritance option. Click Apply then OK. To set a policy to never be overridden perform the following. Start the Active Directory Users and Computer Snap and Start Administrative Tools, Active Directory Users and Computers. Right click on the container you wish to set a group policy to not be overridden and select Properties. Select the Group Policy tab. Click Options. Check the No Override option. Click OK. Click Apply then OK.